Yay! Good morning, Monday. Good morning, Monday. So, are we ready for a this week's oracle card message? Yeah? Here we go. Just dropping off that dirty laundry. Hello, Monday. Okay, so the lineup for this week, we're going to start with a message from Ganesha. Um, and then we're going to do the shiny box, the Magda Lion Oracle. Um, I guess that's what I thought. And then Soulful Woman, for sure, because Monday. And then we'll get this reading, and then we will also do the Andaria Oracle Crystal Activation, because those are pretty cool. Do you like them? I like them. I like them. Do you like them? I like them. Hello, Monday. All right. Oh my goodness. Um, so the soulful woman deck was acting crazy. I just want to mention that. <laughs> um, I kind of laughed with the Magdalene deck cause I was like, where have you been Mary Magdalene? Like I used to run into you all the time. Why not now? Um, and then the Ganesha deck, I was of course like, what, what do we need to know this week? With all of them, I was like, what do we need to know this week? You ready? The card that I stopped on with the Ganesha is number 20, Protection. So this kind of goes along, if you've been following me on Twitter um, or on Instagram at Oracle Message, I'm doing a daily pool or on allnaturalme.com. I posted there too. The message today was to make sure you have really clear boundaries. Make sure that you know, you're only saying yes to the things that you're in alignment with. So that's really kind of interesting that we got the protection message from Ganesha today. Um, just to know that we are protected, we are guided. Um, a week or two ago, I lost my brakes in my van. Did I feel protected? You bet I did. You bet, absolutely, because it happened at the perfect place at the perfect time with the perfect helpful people. So just know that we are given everything. It's got this beautiful golden lotus. He's kind of in this energy. We'll dive more into that in a minute. Let's look at the um, Magda Lion Oracle. Don't be nervous, Sadie, why are you nervous? Oh, uh, let's see, oh. Okay, we've got ecstatic dance, ecstatic dance, blissful movement, the angel Brazil. So what an encouraging message. If you've not been feeling that divine connection, this is what I get from this right off the top. Maybe it's because you're not pulling in the energy like you used to, right? Dancing is one of those amazing ways, like when we listen to music, to flow energy through us. So Sadie, why haven't you been bumping into some, some energies in a while? Because you haven't been dancing. But seriously, why haven't I been dancing? Because my body feels like junk. <laughs> like this morning I actually woke up thinking am I ever gonna feel good in this body again or I don't know it's like there's just this lower back thing going on that I, and hamstring why are they so angry all right so we're gonna talk about some blissful movement how could we like use blissful movement to bring in protection how can we create this energy around us, right? We're channeling in this light, this God source light. Envision it around you as you're, you're moving. You don't even have to like get up out of your chair. Just bring some energy around you and envision this protective bubble. I'm not against bubbles, I love bubbles. And our soulful woman this week is sanctuary. In my inner sanctuary, I connect to peace, inner quietude, and comfort. So, she's me, huh? <laughs> so, let us not forget to create, continue to create our inner meditation, our inner quiet, our inner place where we go, right? That totally 
puts us in that energy stream that does protect us, that does guide us, that does inspire us. So then we can kind of feel like dancing a little bit, right? So these are really, really interesting cards. I wanna show you them closer. One thing that you're gonna notice um, real quick is the color scheme in all of them. They've all got that orange sacral chakra thing going on. Let me show you. Okay, so here's our spread for the week. Cool, huh? All right, so this protection card. I love that he is just in this swirl of golden light. Um, what Ganesha wants to talk to us about today is as we increase, as we raise our vibration, right, on our spiritual path, we are gonna dredge up a lot of painful memories. We're gonna dredge up a lot of things that we need healing about. So that's what he wanted to talk to us about today. If we feel like it's getting like a little too much, we need to take a minute to envision ourselves in a swirl of golden light or yellow light, red light, white light, whatever resonates with you. Um, because what we want to do is consciously and deliberately release any negative energies um, that we have been holding on to, that we have attached to us, any type of entities, any type of cords to things and people and experiences that no longer serve us. So just take some time this week, you know, to go into your inner sanctuary and ask for protection give permission to release um, and then let that pain you know recognize it recognize the stuff that comes up but then heal it and then another reminder from Ganesha is you know instead of reacting this week you know if we find ourselves in any type of situation instead of reacting which is some like trigger like fly off the handle. Let us make a conscious effort to respond with love. So, and then we can call on, you know, Ganesha and the angels of protection for as much um, comfort and guidance and protective energy as we can. So this is static dance wants you to move your body, wants you to bring in that healing energy, wants you to connect with that goddess God um, frequency. Um, and that's, I'll, I'll post a little snapshot on allnaturalme.com. This card also in the book talks about like the different types of frequencies and what the different hurts might be good for. Like if you want to liberate guilt and fear that you'd want like a certain number of hertz, like 396, I believe. So anyways, there was like six of them. I'll snap a picture and put that on allnaturalme.com. Um, and then you can have a peek at that. But anyways, you don't have to be good at dancing. And Sadie, you don't have to have a yoga body to turn on that music and to really start those healing energies flow through you. So I love that like Ganesha and the Angel Brazil are both floating, are both moving with energy. I like that they're both um, feeling that divine inspiration. Um, and then once again, you know, just like Ganesha said, to go within and ask for protection, um, our, our beautiful, soulful woman sanctuary is reminding us to go inside, to connect with that peaceful feeling, that quiet, that comfort. And what's really interesting is in the book, um, it even said, um, you know, my inner sanctuary, sometimes it's like, in my heart other times it's felt within my belly and then she she even says and sometimes my inner sanctuary surrounds me like an auric gossamer of energy wrapping me in a cozy cocoon of light which totally made me think of Ganesha being wrapped in a cozy cocoon of light as well so I think that's our our inspiration this week um, envisioning ourselves in that cozy cocoon of light, allowing ourselves to feel protected, uplifted, and inspired so that we can do our healing work and we can ra keep raising our vibration in a comfortable way, as well as just, you know, enjoying our life and our now moment and feeling sacred as 
we do that. Okay, that, that was really sweet. I like that, I like that a lot. Okay, so let's get our Andaria Oracle activation with these crystals. Um, we'll just see, let's be open. I feel like this whole reading has been an activation kind of to inspire us to do a few things that could really benefit our energetic fields. Okay, so our crystal this week is, drum roll please, it's the Ondarian Black. All right. <laughs> so you guys have a wonderful, beautiful week. Enjoy this activation. Um, connect with me if you're having any type of you know, synchronistic experience with these cards. I love to hear about it. Um, thank you so much. This is an intense one and it's huge. We thought last week was a big activation. Um, welcome to Indaria Black and welcome to Monday and welcome to connecting with you. So much love. I teach you the path of self-mastery and divine alchemy. There is nothing within you that is not a gift from the Supreme Creator. Everything within is sacred and should be treated as such. You are perfect just as you are. Contained within me is the mystery of the cosmos. I work with Lord Buddha to assist you with achieving inner and outer balance. I will help you walk the middle path where nothing can shake you off your center. I will teach you to see and appreciate the gift of life. I am a key Hold me and allow my essence to take you on an inner journey of self-discovery. Hold me, gaze at me, meditate with me, sleep with me, and I will bring to you great wisdom of the universe and insights into your personal life situations. Work with me to fully anchor your mighty I am presence into your human form.